Okay, here we're told we have an internally reversible power cycle with a thermal efficiency of 40%, receiving 50 cool kilojoules of energy by heat transfer from a hot reservoir at 600 Kelvin. So let me sketch this out. Here's our hot reservoir, and it's at the TH is 600 Kelvin. You know what? <clears throat> let me make that bigger. Here's our hot reservoir, TH equals 600 Kelvin. And we're getting 50 kilojoules of energy from that hot reservoir into our power cycle. This is our system. And then we're told the system rejects energy by heat transfer to a cold reservoir at a temperature Tc. So we're rejecting some energy to this cold reservoir. The temperature there is Tc. So we're, oh, and then the last thing is we're told that the efficiency is 40%. So we're asked to determine the energy rejected, meaning the QC, and the temperature TC. And so let's go ahead and first determine the energy rejected. That will be a matter of applying the first law to a control volume surrounding the system. So we're told that the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the efficiency of the power cycle is 40%. What that means is that the net power that we get out, let me get rid of the dot there. So the net power that we get out over the cycle divided by the heat that we put in, the QH, is equal to 0.4. So the W by would be 0 0.4 times QH, which, uh, so we can, that'll be the 0 0.4 times 50 kilojoules. So I think that comes out to be what? Uh, 20 kilojoules. So that's the power that we're getting out, and we're trying to find the power that's being rejected down here. So if I apply the first law to that system, assuming that we're operating over a cycle, let me just write this down. So this is all over a cycle. Since it's over a cycle, we know that the change in the, the total energy is going to be zero. There's, there's no change in internal energy over the cycle, and then we're assuming there's no kinetic and potential energy changes. The Q into the cycle, this will be QH minus QC, because QH is coming in here, QC is going out, so that's why we have a minus QC there. And so the QC will be QH minus W by, the QH was 50 kilojoules. We just calculated the W by was 20 kilojoules, so the QC should be 30 kilojoules. Okay, so that's the first part. And then we're asked to find the temperature TC. Well, to find the temperature TC, I'm gonna make use of this information here that we're told that it's an internally reversible power cycle. So I know that the efficiency will be a maximum efficiency, which is the re reversible efficiency, which is one minus TC over TH, where those are the absolute temperatures. And so since we're told that the efficiency is 0.4, it's 40%, and I know that TH is 600 Kelvin, I can solve for TC. So if I do that algebra, I'll get TC comes out to be 360 Kelvin. So the key to doing that part of the problem is recognizing that it's an internally reversible power cycle, so knowing that the efficiency can be found from the uh, absolute temperatures of the reservoirs. And since we know, that, since we're given that the efficiency is 40%, we can calculate what the TC is from that. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the example.